Hey friends, I'm going to show you a very easy way to make El Ruray, um yogurt, the, uh, the healthy yogurt, you know, by Dr. Davis. So once you have your yogurt made here, right? So um, this is several generations of this yogurt. It's a, uh, it looks good. It's very thick, creamy, good yogurt. Um, you don't need to use this to make the yogurt anymore. Um, the only reason you might want to use this is if something goes wrong, something goes off, the yogurt gets gross, something happens. So, you know, keep these in check and check to make sure that this is still in good shape. But when you already have your yogurt made, the only thing you need, containers, your yogurt, uh, half and half, which is half heavy cream, half whole milk, and a spoon, or something else. So, one of the things that I wanted to show you is, like, you keep hearing about, oh, there's, like, there's trillions of yogurt, there's a lot, um, but I've never really seen it kind of broken down. So, one thing I did is I just said, okay, well, if it's 36 hours, so why is it 36 hours, and what's the big deal about it? And so, just for simple math, just say you start off with a billion, now granted, this this says that there's 30 billion, 300 billion per gram. That's a lot. But we're just going to do simple here. And say if we start off with a billion, do you see how this number doubles every two hours? And now at 20 hours, it's gone from 1 billion to a trillion. And now that number after 36 hours has now gone to 262 trillion um, cells of bacteria in this yogurt. That's huge. That's a huge number. And so, like, why do you need that much and that strong? Well, you're building, you're recolonizing your gut. So, uh, think about it. You have to ingest this. It goes through in your stomach. So, it's going in an extremely hostile environment to get broken down. So, not all of this is going to survive. So you need enough of this that can survive to get into your gut and to colonize it. So that's, that's the reason why you have these extremely high numbers. Now, um, Dr. Davis, he's done a lot of studies, and after 36 hours, the numbers start to decrease. It starts to die off. So that's why we just go for 36 hours. And this is just going from this is cold, this is cold. So we're just going to do this because it's simple. So to get to it, um, all you need to do... You just scoop up your yogurt. This is a fairly big spoon, but I like to pretty much put um, a fair amount, I'm trying to do this without making a mess, in here to start with. I'm gonna push this down. Kind of flatten it out as much as I can. Because the more you start out with, then the thicker and um, creamier this yogurt gets. And, you know, remember, the goal is you want more bacteria, not less. So in order to get more bacteria, you need to add the good stuff. So this is a fair amount. It's a pretty good bit. Um, usually you can do this with a lot less since this is a demonstration, I'm going to add the more instead of the less. Okay, so we got our yogurt in there. We're good there. And we have our milk. Now, I have seen that folks will add this to this. Um, and that's fine. But I have found that every time I do that, I end up with a lot of whey and less creaminess of the yogurt. All right, so let's get here. Uh, let's check to make sure we are at parity as much as possible. This is, granted, this is a little bit different um, than this one. I don't have that many uh, of these around. Okay, that looks like that's gonna be it. Okay. That's that.
Then we just put our tops on. It's on there. And these are, so I have one that actually comes with it and one that doesn't because I don't, I didn't buy that many. Okay, so we get these. Put them in our yogurt maker. Without dropping it. <laughs> I'm doing my best to do this one handed. Okay, and pour our water in. Oops, without making a mess. And we want to make sure that the water is over. actually over so that's okay um, really the only reason you're adding water to this is to make sure that the temperature is going to be there for the whole thing all right so we hit this we hit this once so this is El Ruderai optimal temperature for this is 99 degrees which I do believe is 37.2 Celsius. We're going to hit our start reset. We're going to increase the time from 8 hours to 36. And then we hit start again. And once you see this is lit up, lit up, we're good to go. Okay. We'll come back later and check to see how this is done. All right. We got. 15 more hours to go so that's gonna put that at one o'clock in the morning <laughs> so um just remember when you do those uh, calculations on time to make sure you're gonna be awake so it'll be a little bit late night for me tonight um, but that is okay and pop that open and got water looks pretty good so far so this method is good I like it Usually turns out to get really good yogurt. So, um, all right, well, see y'all at one o'clock. All right, it's done. I thought it was one o'clock, but it's actually at 12.30, close to one, one in the morning. So it is completed. So, I'll take this thing off. Not making too much of a mess. And, not bad. Don't have anything popped up, which is kind of nice. Uh, oops. Pull this out. All right. Let's check it, check it out. Yeah, looks pretty good. It's got some water in because uh, the top came off. Um, I'll just pour that out. This one, using the non-standard top it turned out pretty good it turned out really well actually look at that look how thick it is all right so next step is i'm gonna dump this porter out and um put them in the fridge and we'll taste them uh, tomorrow see how they see how good they are so this is one of our um uh, that we did last night and so it's morning and it's been in there chilling for a bit so um, one thing about a Ruderai is that it does have like a slightly tart taste um, but it's, it's really a minor inconvenience considering the health benefits that you get from it you may actually find that you like that taste um, so you can add certain things to it if you want uh, if you like the honey, honey is a good thing, or if you like jam, uh, if you want to sweeten it up a little bit, you can get fresh berries, um, or you can add some granola, or you can just eat it straight. So uh, I would say let's let's dig in 
and you want to eat uh, a half of a cup. Yeah, this came out really well. You see how creamy and good that looks? I think a little bit more would be a half a cup. Okay, I think that's a good enough portion. A half a cup is not much. And, um, you know, I know this sounds odd. You, you see it's a very small portion. But this uh, will keep you full for a little bit. Um, I had eaten this in the morning for a long time. And um, it's kept me full definitely way until lunch. Um, I end up eating a smaller lunch because of it. So and it's kind of strange, but um, there may be something to it that the it may help encourage weight loss due to um, some form of appetite suppression. So I don't I definitely don't snack in between breakfast and lunch um, for sure. But you see here, it came out really well. There's no way. Um, the only water was that little bit that dropped into it last night uh, when we were taking it out of the container, uh, I mean the, uh, the cooker, so so it looks really good. So once you've, uh, once you've made your yogurt, then that's, you can just kind of put those ingredients away unless something happens. Um, and then uh, you're on easy street here. Uh, so I'll, I'll taste it to make sure everything came out okay. Yep, that's the um, tart taste, but it tastes fine. Um, creamy, good yogurt. God, I love this stuff. So, you know, I, I uh, appreciate y'all watching today. And um, I wish you the best on this journey. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And uh, good luck to you. I hope all goes well with you in your life. All right, take care. Bye.